Koval Anderson. I'm an urban mobility expert with Copenhagenized Design Company. And uh, I'm sorry about the weather here in Copenhagen today. It's a bit drizzly, but uh, welcome to the Danish capital. This is uh, one of the more exciting developments in Copenhagen. Uh, the city is investing in uh, six new bridges across the harbor for bicycles and pedestrians. And this is going to be sort of the main one across the harbor, um, which should be finished later this year. And uh, it's going to provide an important mobility link between uh, a whole bunch of different neighborhoods and the city center. So, you know, six new bridges all up and down the harbor for bicycles and pedestrians. Uh, that's a city that takes cycling seriously. In Copenhagen, 55% uh, of all the citizens who live in the city of Copenhagen itself uh, ride their bike every day. Um, and, and, and this is an you know, incredibly high level. Uh, Copenhagen and Amsterdam really are the Romulus and Ramos of, uh, of, of bicycle cities in the world. Uh, it's investment in infrastructure, this is the most important thing. Uh, keeping cyclists safe and, and making them feel safe in a city, um, as well as, you know, macro infrastructure projects like uh, creating bridges across the harbor and whatnot um, and this is a process that's been going on for for uh, about 40 years since the oil crisis is in the 1970s um, every city in Europe used to be bicycle friendly Dublin included you know Dublin was after Copenhagen and Amsterdam one of the great cycling cities uh, in Europe so everything crashed and burned through the 1950s and 60s as uh, we started to revolve our urban planning around cars and in the 70s Denmark and the Netherlands said okay enough is enough we need to get people back onto bikes and they started rebuilding the bicycle infrastructure network and that's where we started to bounce back to the levels of cycling that we uh, see today. <laughs> 